so hello and welcome guys on my youtube channel internet and technology today i will show you how to install ubuntu operating system on your virtual box so before installing virtual box and ubuntu operating system you should have two file like uh, first of them is virtual box uh, i mean software and the second one is ubuntu iso file so if you don't have these two file and you don't know how to install this so without wasting your time let's get started and you sh first of all open any of your browser uh, in my case i have open chrome browser and you should search virtual box and i have already searched so it is showing me the result and here we you see the first website of oracle vm virtual box it is the oracle product so simply click on the first link and here guys you see this kind of website and in the in this section you saw the uh, download option and you have to click in this option and it will load in a while and here it will ask you uh, for which operating system you would like to install this uh, virtual box if you are on a windows you should click on the windows if you are on a mac you should click on the os x if you are on a linux you should click on this I am on the Windows operating system, so I will click on this Windows host. So you can see it started downloading. I have already downloaded this file, so I will just simply click cancel. So and the second file you should have is Ubuntu ISO file. You should search for Ubuntu and here you will see the first website Ubuntu Enterprise Open Source and Linux. So click on this and you should come on the download section and click on this ubuntu desktop yeah and here this is the download option you should click here and it will start downloading yes you can see here it is started on it is about 3.4 gb it will take time according to your internet speed i have already downloaded it so i will cancel it after downloading you should open your file menu and this is the virtual box file and you should double click on this file and click on yes and now click next and you sh and here it will ask uh, on which location you would like to install this i will leave everything as default and click next okay leave everything as default and again click next and uh, you should click yes then install and it will install just in a few seconds like you are saying it's already done about 80 percent now you can see it is already done so i will click on the finish option and just cut it everything and here you guys can see that the virtual operating uh, vmware uh, software is open here so you should click on the new the new section and you should name your operating system like ubuntu i am here you can see that it already detected ubuntu 64 bit and this is the machine folder where i am going to install it so i will leave everything as default so click on the next and how much ram so this thing guys you should keep in your mind like if you have a 4 GB of RAM, you can't provide total 4 GB of RAM for your uh, uh, virtual machine because it will hang your system. So like you, if you are on a window system and window already consume half of your memory, then you should provide uh, half pa only half portion of the mem RAM to the to your virtual machine or around 1 GB because ubuntu can run easily on 1 gb or 2 gb of memory so i will provide this on around 2 gb of ram so now i click according to you if you have extra ram you can click on 4 gb's extra i will click next and create a virtual hard disk i will leave everything as a default and just leave everything as default click next uh, here it will ask you dynamically allocated and fixed size dynamically allocated means like if you have provided 10 gb 
and in future you are doing some downloading extra file and the file is the space become very less so it will dynamically extend the size of your secondary hard disk so i will choose the dynamic and click next and how much memory i will provide this i will provide it around uh, 10 gb is and i think okay chalo or uh, 20 gb i have provided it's 20 gb and will create ne okay you can see that everything is done here so now you have to click start and it will show you a dialog box now it is asking for me a disk which i have downloaded it so you can search for add and where i have downloaded the ubuntu iso file uh, this is my ubuntu ubuntu file i will choose it and select it and click choose and now you have to click on start now guys you can see that uh, it will show you this kind of interface now you have to navigate through your uh, arrow keys and you should click on the first option try or install and hit enter button and it start loading ubuntu operating system now you can see that uh, just increase the size of the screen <coughs> sorry for that choose the language english and click on the install ubuntu now again choose your keyboard layout and if you are just choose according to your if you are in other, another country whatever and click continue just leave everything as default click continue and you have to click on you, you don't need to worry about this warning because everything you are doing on the virtual machine so it will not delete any of your data so simply click install now and if you continue just simply click the continue button no need to worry about anything it will install it just a while just choose your time zone for me it is kolkata for me so i will click kolkata and now click hit enter continue and you should put your name i will give my name roy and choose the password again we confirm this login automatically password just hit continue and after a while it is start installing you can see this portion it is copying all the files so just wait for a while and boom you can see now it is asking for me password what i have typed now hit enter after typing your password now you can see our ubuntu has been installed just skip this portion next next done now you can see ubuntu is installed now we have to adjust the resolution so search for settings go to the settings and for appearance desktop this is the display okay it didn't take the resolution update software has been included one to was related to would like to install it no remind me later i don't want now i will be okay <laughs> okay keep changes now you can see it is now full screen so this is it guys just do restore do your thing and check according to you if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends tada